Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, How You Figure. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the just released blogger photos of the Hot Toys Batman 89 figure that was just released by Hot Toys. Let's jump into it. I have this one pre-ordered, I have the deluxe pre-ordered, and we're gonna kind of talk about uh, my thoughts on this release, my thoughts on these blogger photos. And if you haven't seen one of these videos of mine before, I will link a few in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button if you wouldn't mind, it really help out the channel and consider subscribing. I think if you like this type of content, you're gonna like it around here. So let's jump into this. I can tell you right off the bat, like it, th this pose looks really good. Like I'm, I'm I, just with this first image, we're going to talk about some of the issues I have um, that I'm already seeing. Uh, but right now, just based on this first image, I really like it. I think the blogger photos have been really good lately. I think they're doing a really good job with them kind of setting like a dynamic scene and stuff. So this looks really cool. This is kind of a pose that I would probably be, you know, um, that I would personally probably be using, uh, for my display and so this looks really good to me i think that um as of right now you know th this photo right here looks really good let's see if they can keep that momentum here and let's go to the next slide right here you can kind of see it this is a really solid look in my opinion this is definitely um i'm getting the michael keaton likeness with that um with that face plate there i really like this metallic black look here it's like a really rich rich color here and i really like how the yellow really pops like they've made this a really good job so the paint apps on this uh cow is really really good in my opinion the, the cow looks amazing like i think the cow looks fantastic i really like the um the details there again you're gonna be limited with posing with a figure like this just like the real batman was um a lot of these earlier batman suits they just the neck just never moved um but you know so that would still be accurate but just to kind of give you a heads up i also you know just again i really like the uh the bat signal right there that i've always loved this suit just because of the contrast between the yellow and the black i really like the eyes right here like the eyes right here the rolling eyeball function the uh, the black paint around the eyes again the, these are like deep black colors which i really like because it just really just feels like that gothic batman like that first tim burton batman and i really like that and you can kind of see it with the with this great accessory with the grappling gun here so let's go to the next one right here um i'm still getting the keaton likeness here um but um you know i'm already starting to see a few a few kinks in the armor you could say again let, let, let's just take a look at the cowl the cowl looks really good in my opinion i really like that i'm losing a bit of the likeness right here uh on the straight on view just personally but i still think it looks really good and i'm still getting keaton with the eyes so right here i'm all right here from the bat signal up i'm really enjoying now we got to get to this part now we got to get to the part with the uh the actual suit okay and so the suit for me uh i can just tell right right off the bat like the suit for me is, um, I don't think the suit should be, have that much going on with it. Like, I think it should be very, not glossy, but almost like closer to that than we're getting here. And uh, if you look at the DX9, I believe it is, you can kind of see that they kind of capture that with that one. So I don't know what the goal here with this was, but just based on this photo, I'm not, I'm not really sure why they did that with all the, um, why they did all that with the plastic there and, um, because that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks like from like the bat signal down to the belt and even some of the belt, it kind of looks like the, the quarter scale NECA figure and the NECA figure for what it is, is really, really good. I mean, that's, you know, again, we're paying 125 or something like that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the price is on that as opposed to this. Uh, the boots look really good. I think the boots look good and um, the cape, we're going to get to the cape, but the cape so far looks okay. Um, and here's more of the cape here. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I, I don't know if y'all agree or disagree with me, but everything from the, from the cowl down, the legs all the way up to this belt, all the way to this, there's that, um, whatever finish that is, man, it's just like, it looks, it looks a little rough to me. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm not super pleased with that. Um, I don't think there should be as much of that. That should definitely look a little different than some other parts of the suit, no question. But I don't think there's that much of it. The great pose right here. This is a great photo. And um, you can kind of see in what you can do with this cape. This cape really is looking good. It looks like to be a wired cape here. Um, and uh, let's go to the next one. 
and again, you're seeing it like right here, like a little bit of bunch up on the suit. You're pro this isn't going to be the most poseable Batman. This is going to be a definite, like, you know, just presence Batman, you know, like you're going to, you know, it's Keaton Batman. You know, he wasn't doing a whole lot of crazy stuff. His movements in the movie were kind of like this, which I like. I like how they're staying accurate to that. And uh, this is kind of a pose that I would be probably doing in my display, you know, and you can kind of see that, uh, that, that base behind him, that diorama base. I think that looks pretty good. Um, it, again, it looks a little plasticky in, in parts, but uh, for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, right here is interesting. Um, right here is really interesting. Um, and we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about how would you rate the Keaton likeness? And I don't know how y'all are feeling about the jawline and the interchangeable face plates that we're going to talk about, but here's one of them, kind of like the damaged face plate. What are we thinking here? Let me know in the comments below. I just personally think that I think they did a pretty good job here with the teeth showing. I know that Hot Toys has a tough time with that. I know a lot of a lot of people do with uh, six scale figures, but that's always a tough thing is like the little bit of teeth showing. But I actually think they captured this pretty well. I think the lips, the battle damaged lips, it looks a little painted on instead of um, like natural. Like if you look at that lip cut on the just released um, and again, those are prototypes and this is official blogger photos. So keep that in mind. But the just released, um, I believe it's the Mark 42, the, the the cut on the lip of Tony Stark, I think really looks like unique and really looks like realistic. So again, man, the, I, I'm very impressed with the cowl. I really like the cowl. I think it looks really, really good. I, I think right here, you're still getting that Keaton likeness um, from this angle. And you can kind of see it right here. See, and then I lose it a little bit here. So that's the thing is like, I lose it here and you can see that Batmobile in the back. Let me know in the comments below if you picked up the Batmobile. I think it's like an incredible accessory. If I had the space, I'd probably do it. But you can see this, man. I mean, this is, you're, you're seeing more of what I'm talking about with the suit here. Uh, you can kind of see the bunching up here below the, uh, below the belt here. Um, the gauntlets look good. I think the gauntlets look good. I'm really liking the way the cape hangs over the arms here, just personally. Um, and uh, But I'm losing a little bit of the lightness in the faceplate on this one. So, you know, if, if you go and you look at, like, the, the prototype images, a lot of the prototype images, um, you know, the, the suit had a little bit more of a glossiness to it. And, again, this could just be the photos. I'm definitely waiting to see what we see in hand. That's I always say that with these blogger photos. You know take it with a grain of salt because sometimes in hand it looks a little bit different but um that just kind of sticks out to me a little bit i feel like it should be a little bit more glossy there and um and yeah so let's see let's see what else we got with these images let's see if we can get some different looks here and right here this look looks pretty good i mean you're kind of seeing um i'm getting the lightness there um kind of more of what we've seen already um, this looks good. Like right here with this, from this angle and this lighting, you can kind of see that, you know, you can kind of see what you can do with this cape here. You're really kind of looking at this type of pose. They're really showing off this pose in these photos, but I think the gauntlets, uh, and the, and the boots look good. Um, just everything from the thigh up to the neck here kind of has that hard plasticky look to it, um, which is a little concerning, but at the same time, you know, the, they're not super far off from the prototype images. Like in my opinion, like I don't like this just seem more glossy. And for whatever reason, like this, this being the way it is, is coming across a little bit more um, like when you get a little bit zoomed in. But if you, you know, it's, it's given off that like more issue that we've been talking about with the suit here. But when you get an image like this, like this to me looks pretty good. You know, like when, when you have it with the base and you're kind of showing the figure like this, uh, some of these photos look look good to me. Um, some of them, th th that suit is very harsh to the to the look, in my opinion. Like right here, like you can kind of see it with the lighting on it. Like there's some harshness to it. But overall, you know, it, it's it, it's still it's still the Keaton suit. You know, it's just it's got some variations of it. Right here, you're kind of seeing it. Like this this one really kind of shows it. And this could be the lighting. Um, right here, you're still getting the Keaton a little bit. The eyes kind of look a little. You know, it looks pretty wired right there. Um, you can kind of see right here again, you're losing that black glossiness feel. I feel like that should be a darker black. Um, you can see though, you can kind of tell with, with or, where the lighting is when you have lighting and it's a bit harsh. And even on these with, with what's behind it, like you can kind of see the lighting is the issue here a little bit. And, um, on some of these, when you have it displayed, the black color will definitely be more like, it'll definitely feel more like 
towards the Batman 89 look where I feel like it is going to be darker and it's going to look good. This face is tough, man. This face is a little tough. I'm not going to lie. We're, we're going to ask again. What What is our thoughts on the Keaton lightness here? Um, that is the question, you know? Uh, I'm just looking at it like this is a tough face, man. We see it with the Bale Batman. Like when they're trying to do these kind of like action faces, man, this... This just looks off to me. This just looks off to me. And um, it's close, man, but it just, it's crazy how tough this is because just a little variation here, or there, a little miss on the lip or the, t the way the teeth show can really take something that would look super accurate and just make it not so accurate. So I feel like this is a really good sculpt. I've, I feel like this interchangeable faceplate here looks good if you want that battle damage look and again with the zoomed out the less harsh lighting you're kind of seeing more of those rich blacks and yellows really pop and uh when, since we're looking at that base my question is do we think the deluxe is still the way to go you know if, if you're picking up this figure is the deluxe still the way to go are you getting the dx or the standard maybe you're someone who hasn't pre-ordered it you've been thinking about pre-ordering one of these figures i think the deluxe is still the way to go uh, personally, I think the deluxe definitely adds to the mood, definitely adds to the setting. So that's kind of where I stand on it. Let me know in the comments where you stand on it. And uh, you can kind of see that again. I think that that looks pretty good. I mean, I, I really do. I think that the the uh, the bottom third of his face, like the the interchangeable uh, mouth plate, actually looks pretty good. I'm not too concerned about that when you get it in hand because I think that depending on how you're going to take images and how you're going to have them displayed. It's it, it, as long as that suit looks good, you know, and the cow looks good. I think that if you have that default faceplate, you should be good. Like I, that, the default faceplate to me, out of what I've seen, is the best. This this faceplate just looks tough, man. I mean, this one, you know, it it it. it I'm losing the Keaton likeness tremendously here, and this this faceplate did not turn out. At least in these images, it's just not it's not giving Michael Keaton 89 Batman, you know? And so the accessories look cool. Like the different accessories that are coming with it look cool. And I, and I stand by what I'm saying, man. I think the cow, I think the, um, the cowl, I I'm a fan of it. I think it's very accurate. I think it's, it's, it's very similar to what we saw in the proto images. Even right here, I'm getting Keaton back the way they did this mouth plate here with the mouth and the teeth there. I'm getting that back. The and if you go look at the movie, this is pretty accurate with the battle damage, the scar or the blood and the, the scarring here. So I think they did a really good job. This is a really good photo to me. I think that this photo really shows off kind of again, you're kind of seeing that suit issue I have again. But without the lighting on it, when you have this, you know, you're not gonna be standing this close to your figure at all times. So when you're kind of away from it, um, I definitely think you're not gonna notice it as much, but it's still there right here it, it kind of it kind of shows the things that are good and bad about the the figure like the top photo here you have what i feel like is the the issue with for me the issue with the figure is that chest piece you know that's just me uh from the logo down to the to the to the boots to the kneecap basically the accessories look really good like the accessories look really really good like i'm very impressed with the accessories i think they look really cool I think anytime he's holding the accessories, it looks really cool. That bottom image, I think, looks great. Um, let's go to this next one here. Uh, yeah, man, I think the default look is the way to go with this figure. Either that or the battle damage look. I think both are great, but I'm probably going to have it just displayed with the default there. And, um, you know, I, I want to see a little bit more of the cape. So let's go. I really think that that looks great. Like, if you see it, like, when you're away from the figure... And you don't have the lighting on that on that middle piece there and on the thigh piece there it looks good um even here this looks good so you're kind of seeing depending on the lighting you're getting this look and so i don't want to be too hard on that because again the proto images while i do think that they had though you know they kind of showed that part off like with the i guess the scarring or of the plastic or whatever that is kind of what I'm expecting to see. Like this is probably the best photo that is kind of getting me back hypes. And that's, and that's what I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask y'all next, like what's the hype scale here? Like has my hype for this figure increased or decreased? Has y'all's after seeing these blogger images, my hype scale was, you know, about an eight out of 10. Like I was hyped to get the figure. I, you know, I, I was excited to get, it. I was excited to add a Keaton Batman. I don't have one. But if you have the DX9, man, and you're seeing these photos and you're going to upgrade, 
is it worth that upgrade? That's what you have to ask yourself. Is it worth the upgrade? That DX9 still looks incredible. And I'm unsure if it is worth the upgrade, you know? So has my hype for this figure increased or decreased? I'd probably say it's decreased a bit down to about a 6.5 to a seven after these photos, just because of some of the issues I'm having with the suit, some of the issues I'm having with the face plates. Whoever took these photos, these are kind of more accurate to what I like. I think that this looks good. You can kind of see the glossiness there. Again, you're kind of seeing the harshness of the lighting. Let's move this away so we can see um, what I'm talking about. So you can kind of see limited posability, the glossiness of the suit. I do think that these photos show more of the the way I'd want it displayed and um, let's see what else we got. So right here again, man, this is what I'm talking about. Like as soon as I get a little hyped, we're seeing that stuff with the suit again. And I don't know, man, the, the cow just looks so damn good to me that like, I'm trying to like focus on the positives here, but that is very, um, that's something that I can't ignore, you know, and I'm, I'm not sure how y'all feel about it. Maybe I'm being overly critical, but that definitely does not, you know, doesn't look great in these blogger photos, you know, doesn't look super great there. You kind of see that interchangeable face plate again, kind of have the yellow backdrop here, which, which is okay. And, uh, you can kind of see the, um, the battle damage here. I don't know, man, the, uh, the default sculpt is definitely the way to go. Like right here, here we go. This is good. You know, this is a good photo going back to my, going back to my question. We're going to go back one more time. Is the deluxe the way to go? So it really kind of depends on what you're in the market for. If you really do like this base, you feel like it adds to the scene. You feel like it adds to the um, to the uh, mood of the movie, which I do, um, you know, pick it up. But the size is a concern. The height of it is a concern. It's um, so again, I, I'm, you know, that that's that'll be our last question. Are we are we keeping our pre order? after these blogger photos let's see if we got any more left here and we're back to the beginning so here we go we're at the last question we're at the closing thoughts here should i keep or should i cancel my pre-order am i going to keep my dx pre-order or am i canceling it i can tell you that i am probably keeping it um i have some issues with this figure i have some issues with these photos i'm waiting to see this in hand maybe a sideshow video maybe some of these great reviewers that get reviews out probably like two or three days within the figure coming out uh, I always love seeing their reviews. So I want to see it in hand because a lot of times these blogger photos, as good as these guys do with some of these photos, sometimes the lighting or sometimes the way it looks could be a little harsh. I don't know if this is an essential upgrade. If you have the DX9, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Since I don't have a Keaton Batman, I'm keeping my pre-order. But if you have that DX9, man, I mean, honestly, for me, I personally think you're good. I mean, I personally think this is a probably a win for you today. Um, Again, you're probably somebody that had this pre-ordered, but it's probably a win that you're like, okay, my DX9 still looks really, really good compared to this. Like this, like this, this is good, but like my DX9, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm fine with it. So not having the Keaton uh, head sculpt is a bit of a bummer. Um, you know, that, that modern suit Batman does have a sculpt, even though it's older Keaton. So that's a bit of a bummer. I wish this did have a Keaton head sculpt, even though I probably wouldn't use it. I do like the option. Final thoughts of this. I think that the figure looks pretty good. I don't think it looks great. I don't think it looks awful. I think parts of the suit do not look good in certain images. I'm going to wait till I see video of in-hand photos before or in-hand photos or in-hand video before I really give my like, I mean, I'm not going to make a video, but I'm saying like before I make my full judgment for myself, but I will say based on the blogger photos, which is all we can go on parts of that suit, parts of whatever finish they put on the suit or whatever they did with that suit, it, it does scream like hard plastic. With that being said, this isn't super far off from what we saw with some of the blogger photos or some of the uh, prototype images. If you go back and look at the protos images, but man, I don't know, man, it's uh, I'm mixed on it because some of the pictures, I feel like the suit looks good and I can kind of see the likeness and on some I cannot. And so anytime I see that, I start thinking, why don't we just wait and see some in hand reviews of the figure? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to be keeping my pre order. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that base, man. I might sell that base to be perfectly honest with you just because I don't know where the space is going to go. But again, I'm going to still stick with my deluxe pre order just because it's Keaton Batman. I don't have a Keaton Batman. But I will say, if you have that DX9 or whatever uh, Batman figure that was from uh, Batman 89, 
um, I, I definitely think you're in good hands with that one still. I think that figure is showing that it's kind of standing the test of time a little bit. It's still a really solid figure if you have it. For me and for people that don't have the Keaton Batman, I'm still keeping it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Let me know in the comments below if you're keeping your pre-order, if this figure, how you think overall, what it looks like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Consider subscribing if you like this type of content. I think if you do like this type of content, you're gonna like it around here. I'm truly grateful that you decided to watch this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.